care of her. Wow, she's gentle as can be. Good morning, farm friends. It's Alan here on the farm on Route 66. Thanks for joining us. And as always, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. But I am going on a big loop today to deliver a horse and pick up a horse and pick up some goats. It's an early Saturday morning. It's still cool outside. And look who got out of bed. Yeah, look at this. Nice shot. This is crazy. Look who got out of bed. I slept in this morning till six. It was nice. <laughs> yeah, Blake's always willing to help, but he's not around much with, yeah, with, sports. with sports. But anyway, so good to have Blake helping me get loaded, but then he has to stick around. He's got baseball practice today and also does his trash route. He has about 45 customers that he picks up trash and takes it to the, what do you call it? The waste station or transfer station. So, wish I could go with him all day, but at least I'm grateful he's helping me load up the horse this morning, so. All right, let's go catch her. Oh, let's do this. So some of you may remember Man, the train's noisy this morning. Sometimes we never even hear it, and other times it's loud. I don't know what makes the difference. But anyway, so on that last trip to the reservation that I bought four horses, I bought Mama and her yearling Roan baby and then like that eight month old Roan baby the two Roans went to Utah with the Rolly family that bought Chief well this was the other this is the two year old and she's super gentle even though she barely leads but she's gentle we can walk up and put a halter on her so like, go ahead and halter her up she may walk away from it. Man, that train is louder than normal, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That is just crazy how loud that is this morning. I apologize. So, one of, one of you that follows our channel has wanted one of these little rescue horses, a little mare, for a long time. And so I'd been waiting for the perfect option for, for this lady. And you'll meet her a little later today. But she... She wanted a little filly, a mare, that she could grow up and work with. And she has some goats she's going to trade me. And some of these goats are getting a little... Ugh. Let me prop it open. I get something to tap on her butt. 
like a stick it would be easier just a second so we're gonna do our little trick here so all i have to do is tap on her butt a little bit and then as she steps even one step closer <laughs> see i don't take the pressure off if she's going backwards at all come on come on this is just a plastic stick a piece of conduit oh good if she walks forward at all then I take the pressure off. There she goes. She stepped up in there right as I turned off the video and adjusted to the other side. But there we go. Um, she's a cute little thing. Let me grab all oh, the brushes up in the truck, actually. I was going to brush her off real quick. But this lady wants to trade for some goats. She has some billy goats that are getting a little aggressive and big and I'm not into this horse very much money and this lady is so excited to have a horse of her own and I think she's gonna give her a great home and I'm gonna be able to help her find a home for those goats that she loves so much. So thanks bud you're amazing. You have a good day at practice and maybe you'll get to ride the day. He wanted to ride the day hopefully too. So man, it's nice having Blake's help. I miss it when he's playing sports, but whenever I get a chance to work with him, he's such good help. I'm heading to Payson, Arizona, and then from there to Cave Creek, and I'll introduce to you what I'm doing there. So I'm doing about a seven hour loop today. So come along. Well, I was Headed out of town and decided to check our horses. And I noticed mama, I noticed that mama is getting super close to having a baby, but we had just irrigated down there. So it's super wet. And the pasture she's in has about a million cockleburs, probably a billion. And I think she's got about a million on her. So I brought her home and bless Blake's heart he's gonna clean her up before practice so so she's so gentle I put a baling twine around her but look at that those are those are cockle birds she looks like a funny unicorn but anyway I'm not gonna put this but look at the, she's filling up with milk and we've got to get cockle birds out of her tail and we want her here closer to the house so when she has a baby we're around so Blake, you're a lifesaver. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Seriously, that is horrible. They love being on that pasture where there's so much grass, but all the cockleburs are dried out from last year. And as they reach down in the grass, they're getting them in their manes and tails. So we're gonna have a lot of work to do to clean up all the horses, but her mane and tail are about as long as any of them. So now I think I'm really on the road. I appreciate Blake so much cleaning that up. That's gonna be hard, but he said he'd take a before and after picture. We're gonna to try to get rid of cockleburs this year. Someone suggested some herbicide that hopefully is gonna work. And somehow I would love to get those cockleburs out of that field. The grass is too good to pass up, but it's a lot of work cleaning up cockleburs and it can't be comfortable for them. So, all right, let's go. A lot of good 
goats here. Look at all these goats. This is crazy. I've never seen this many goats in one spot, I don't think. <laughs> and look, they all had blue eyes. Yeah, that's cool. Almost every one of them. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. So fun. Well, we tied her up to this tree for just a minute while I get the goats that we're trading for. And Diane is going to love this little girl and she's going to spoil her rotten, I can tell. So, she's giving me this goat here. And those two billy goats there. Diane is amazing. What do you think you'll name your little girl? I don't know yet. I have to get to know her. All right. Well, thanks for providing such a great home for her. Thank you for bringing her. You're welcome. So nice meeting Diana. She's a sweet lady and I know she's going to give a great home to that horse. She already is in love. But now I'm headed down towards Cave Creek, Arizona, which is north of Phoenix to get another horse and I'll explain what that situation is as I get closer. So this is crazy right here in Phoenix. I called a friend and he took the goats. So now I have an empty trailer to go pick up this horse. This is perfect. Kind of a crazy day, but I got that horse to Diana and she's so excited. I got the three goats and I got to thinking, man, it's gonna be hard to load two billy goats and a nanny and a horse. Cause I don't know if that horse is used to goats. So I called my friend on the way down here and I said, hey, would you have a home for these goats? And he said, yep, I'll meet you. So met him here on this busy street well, it's not busy. We're right in the middle of town is what I mean. For for where I live, <laughs> this is crazy down here. But I found this quiet little spot behind an Albertsons. As he was able to back up his trailer right to mine and we slid the gate open and I, I was able just to put him right on the trailer. So it worked perfect. Now this other horse, a friend of ours from YouTube, his name is George. He contacted me and he said, hey, we've got an 18-year-old registered mare that has navicular. And I've got to study up on that more, but that's just a, an issue with her feet that, I, that won't hurt her having babies. And he said, I was wondering if you'd want to see if you could get a baby out of 66, and if that doesn't work out, then maybe you could help find a home for her. And I said, let's let's go for it. So I'm gonna pick up this mare and we're gonna see if we can get her pregnant to 66. And if not, we'll find a, a good home for her. But this is a, a good chance for her to keep serving a, a good purpose. And she's a beautiful mare. And so it'd be fun to see if she could get pregnant to 66. The problem is he thinks she's a maiden mare, meaning she's never had a baby before. And once they get to be that old and never have had a baby, it, it's hard to get them to settle and get pregnant. So we'll see how it works out, but George is supposed to meet me here in a minute and he'll drive me to his place and we'll go from there. Well, I just met George and now I'm following him to his place up here in the foothills north of Phoenix. I've never been in this area. It's kind of pretty. people ever and they take really good care of their horses check out this facility 
This is awesome. Tell us a little bit about Susie real quick. Well, I, I got her uh, about 11 years ago and she was injured slightly and uh, we let her rest a while and then I started riding her and we rode for a long time and she's very handy. The lead changes were beautiful and we played uh, the soccer, horse, big ball soccer with her and, and trail rode a lot. And then, uh, but I just kind of backed off riding and stuff. And then I noticed that she was lame, what, six months ago a little bit. But she had an injury in the back that I'll show you. And uh, I got x-rays too, and you can see what that is. But it it's a little, makes her a little stiff in the back. So I didn't really want to ride her because of that. But I think she deserves to have a fall and be a happy horse. I know you put them out on pasture and stuff. Yep. What a better place than having a baby in a pasture. <laughs> well, so. she is beautiful. So I hope we can get a baby out of her. So, Carolyn, you'll come clean my stalls for nine years? Is that... <laughs> uh, just kidding. We were just talking about how she takes care of these horses so well and spoils the heck out of them. And so, it's just awesome. They said, man, we feel like we know you, Alan. And anyway, I'm at a disadvantage, but in the few minutes I've got to know them, they're amazing. So, Susie. You are. <laughs> well, you're amazing. You're kind. Like but... I said, I feel like I know you. <laughs> you know, faith, family... You know, country, <laughs> friends, freedom. Yeah. These guys are amazing. They, they even knew I, I like a McAllen sandwich at McDonald's. <laughs> and I'm so excited to take Susie it? home. Oh, and yeah. This is He's mine. It, that's mine. Oh, okay. Kind of rough. I have one just like <laughs> <laughs> So, if you don't mind, I'll video you as you put her on the trailer. Or yeah. I could do it, but... She'll I think she'll just walk in on her own. Oh, I'm sure she will. Man, she's beautiful. Well, George and Carolyn are sad to see her go, and so is their horse April over there. But we'll take good care of her. Wow, she's gentle as can be. Well, she's loaded, and we'll take her home and introduce her to 66. What a eventful, fun day. George and Carolyn are the nicest people and just so kind. And I couldn't, can't believe that they, they watch our channel. I'm just honored people watch us and know our family and trust us. And, and so we're gonna give Susie a, a good home and we hope we can get her in full to 66. And we'll keep you updated on that, but I'm sure George and Carolyn are watching this now. So George and Carolyn, love you guys and thanks so much. God bless. Well, everything was going great until my old Suburban overheated on this hill. But hopefully I've got it taken care of. I have a friend coming that's gonna hook onto the horse trailer and pull the horse home and me. And then I have another friend that is a mechanic that's going to come tow the Suburban. I have the Suburban behind the horse trailer so we can hook onto the horse trailer and I'll leave a key for the Suburban. Kind of a bummer, but hey, better it happens now with just me than the whole family. We were, we're planning on taking this on vacation here in a month or so, so <sighs> dang it. <laughs> but hey, it could be worse and is it good or is it bad? I like to say I think it's good to happen now instead of later when the whole family was with me and we were headed on vacation. So anyway, I thought the video was over, but obviously not. Thank <laughs> you.